a lot of people they live in a bubble they just go to work they clock in clock out they don't pay attention to what's around them we are going to be upstream thinkers we you know we're proactive so we pay attention to these things because we don't want to get blindsided and be one of those people who are like oh my gosh i didn't see it coming what am i gonna do no 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 i saw this coming a mile away and i already got another job lined up <laughs> that's us <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to spot and also avoid being on the chopping block when it comes to layoffs at your organization. Um, we're hearing whispers and rumors and announcements of recessions or non-recessions. It's all semantics, but really we want to make sure we're in a good position to not get laid off no matter what they want to call it. And let's get started. To avoid getting laid off, you first want to know if you're even at risk for being laid off. And to know this, you should know your company's financials. Like you don't have to know all the details of the income statement and balance sheet. Like that's not necessary. But what you should know is whether they're doing well or not well. So if you work for a public company, you can go ahead and go on their official website. On the top, you'll see the link investors. Or if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see investors or investor relations, something of that sort. Click on it and then you'll see either a transcript or an audio where you can listen to the CFO or the CEO talk about the company's position right position right now. Um, this is really important to you because if you know profits aren't the same as they used to be, they're going to be looking at their workforce like, all right, we're going to have to make some cuts around here. And we don't want to be the ones that are being cut. But the first thing is to know whether you're at risk for it. Now, if you work for a nonprofit organization, are donations slow coming in? Are you guys ramping up fundraising? What's going on? And then if you work in a private organization, just simply ask questions. Like ask your sales reps, like, hey, how's sales been? Ask your manager, hey, how's business going? You know, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't think anything is above your pay grade because nothing is above our pay grade. Okay, we <laughs> let's just get that out the way. So to piggyback off of my last point, pay attention to macroeconomics. If you're on a sinking ship, you want to know you're on a sinking ship because we're going to jump before it sinks. We're not going down with it, all right? Pass go. Don't collect 200. Just go. So what industry are you in? Are you in something that's closely tied to the housing market? Are you in something that's in closely tied to tech or are you in tech? Those are industries that are, get, that are getting hit right now. So be aware of that. And also, once your company starts talking about hiring freezes, it's in. Red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. <laughs> like, start looking for another job because you may be at risk to be laid off. And I'm just being honest here. Like, I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer or a negative Nancy, but you know, it's good to be aware and just to keep your ducks lined up. I would highly, highly encourage everyone to level skip, whether you think you're at risk for a layoff or not. And this is when you basically you level skip, right? <laughs> like a lot of people focus on the relationship that they have with their manager and they have absolutely no rapport with their manager's manager, their manager's manager's managers or anybody higher up. And I would definitely encourage you to set up one on ones to set up meetings with them so they can get to know you, what you do, the value you add to the organization. All of that good stuff because when it's time to lay people off you want other people to be able to advocate for you and say hey you know I've worked closely with Sonia or we had a one-on-one -on -one last month and I think she's really valuable to the organization if we lost her there would be a huge gap so let's keep her and get rid of Sally and John like <laughs> that's the that's you know it's, it's sad to say but it's like kill or be killed kind of thing so level skip if you can one of the most important things you can do to avoid getting fired during recession is to make yourself invaluable, like stand out. Are you one of one or are you one of five? And if you're one of five, then make sure it feels like you're one of one, right? So when I say that, I mean, take the initiative, go above and beyond, like do what your peers are not doing. And I know there's this huge trend of like quiet quitting and doing the bare minimum, but baby, bare minimum, bare minimum does not pay the bills, okay? So in this situation, you go above and beyond, you do more than what's asked, and you just show up, basically. 
Another thing you can start doing is to build relationships outside of your department. A lot of people are very like linear. They just look at their department. They don't pay attention to other things or make partnerships outside of it. And I would really encourage you to do so. Um, this is back to the reason that I said before when I mentioned level skipping. You want as many people to be able to advocate for you as possible. You want them to say, hey, you know, I'm working on Sonia with this project. If she leaves, like, I'm gonna need somebody else to fill in or I'm gonna need help with this or help with that. So make sure you're putting yourself in a position to build relationships outside of your department. It looks different for everybody because I know some people are siloed into their position, but let's say you're a customer service representative, make friends with the customer, I mean the warranty department or make friends with, yes baby. Mommy. Can you give me a minute? It's done. At the end of the day, we can't control what a company does. We can't control who they let go. So you just got to make sure you put yourself in the best position to one, not get fired or two, just, you know, keep your eyes open, keep your resume updated and keep your voicemail empty for new opportunities because you just never know. All right. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.